Welcome back gamers. Today we're gonna to be talking about the best products to buy at Walmart in person. So generally, I do not recommend buying Pokemon cards in person, like really at all, because during COVID, there was such a hype for Pokemon cards, that nonsense like people pulling guns on one another was happening just over colored cardboard. Because of that, big retailers like Target and Walmart will charge 10, $15 more on a product just because it's in person. And that's just to avoid people going bonkers. Like if it's not a great deal, you know, less people are gonna lose their minds and run in through the Walmart doors right as they open. So again, generally do not buy from Walmart in person. Online, they have good deals here and there, but if you really need to buy in person, these are the products I would recommend. Number one, without a doubt, is this Divergent Powers tin. The reason that is, is because this tin along with all the other tins at Walmart are around $20, which is pretty good PPP price per pack. And this tin is getting a little bit old, so it actually has some good stuff in it. And we'll crack into that in a second. Another one I would recommend are these Crown Zenith uh, Glaring Bird tins. Obviously Crown Zenith is a pretty desirable set. Good promos, and this one's only $19, so it's a little bit more reasonable. I would not recommend, however, the Paldea EX tins because the PPP on that box is like pretty bad because you can get Paldea Evolved for three dollars two dollars a pack and this you're gonna run more like five dollars a pack so i wouldn't recommend those ones in another video i'll go into other things i definitely do not recommend really ever buying but we'll leave that out for today Alrighty, first things first we're going to jump into our torque magic pack going to this lovely commenter if you don't know how this works like comment and sub on this video for the chance to win next video's pack last time my boy got smoked we'll see if your guys's luck has changed. Code. Some energy. All right, Yuxi. Yuxi on the front. Overquill, Jubilife, Teddy Ursa, Sneeze, Mysteries, Barboach, Scyther, Zisu, and a hollow word ear on the end. If you want it, let me know. All righty, first we're gonna get into this Crown Zenith tin. So I'll throw up some footage of my Walmart. I got lucky today. It was stocked. Generally, that is not the case. I, where I live, I don't know if this is how it is everywhere, but it is hard to find anything in person. Walmart, Target, they're always empty. Here's that promo. It is honestly one of my favorite promos of all time. I just think it is gorgeous. And the reason why I chose this tin is for this sucker. Eventually I'll probably want to get the Zapdos tin and the Articuno tin, but We'll see. Code card. Inside of this, you get four Crown Zenith. Beautiful set. If you haven't seen my Crown Zenith opening, do so. I explained that this set has the best pull rate of any set that is out right now. So I recommend opening it while it's still reasonable. Plus, there's just a lot of sweet cards in here. Hopefully, we can get a Galarian Gallery or something. Oh, yeah, and there you go, Duskull. So if you aren't aware of this card, like, yeah, it doesn't look necessarily spectacular, but it's because it's part of a nine piece set that creates one image, kind of like, like for your binder, just makes one image. I don't necessarily have a binder for Crown Zenith, but if I got enough of these, I probably would. And a Hollow Kyogre on the end. All right, into our next Crown Zenith. Feels pretty nice to be opening these packs without anything on the line. Um, my last video was quite painful and I still have welts. So give that video some love if you haven't seen it. It was not the most comfortable to film. <laughs> Emolga, love disc. Gumshoes with the Whale Lord on the end. Code. I will say, when I'm not opening Paldea or Scarlet and Violet, it makes me kind of sad because it's so much nicer to just not have to worry about the stupid green code and shiz like that. Volcarona. So much more mind power required to open Crown Zenith and these Sword and Shield era cards. Like, come on. 
children are supposed to be opening these. I guess maybe not everybody does the card tricks, but I can't imagine doing without it. Oh, oh, okay, shoot. Some Luminion, I don't, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this has some decent value. I think it's one of the more desirable Galarian galleries. I mean, look at it. I don't know if you can see, but this has got to be one of the coolest arts. There's got a little lantern, Chin Chow's in there, all this coral. It's a beautiful card, really it is. With, wait, what? My rare is a hollow energy? I don't know if this is with is worth anything, but it's kind of cool. It's the first time I've ever gotten something like that. See, that's why I recommend the Crown Zenith. It just, it just always pulls through. This kind of item, I really do not recommend buying from Walmart. These blister packs are like seven bucks or just nonsense like that. And you get one pack and some promos that are just not special. Like you can get this out of any regular pack. Same with this. There's nothing special about it. I get buying something with a promo that you can't get anywhere else. This I will probably get out of this pack. Code card. And I don't know if a single soul cares about these coins. I don't. I don't think I've really ever been treated by Scarlet and Violet. Like it's just not my set. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay, yeah, I keep seeing hollows on the end, but it doesn't mean anything because everything has hollow borders in this set. Picnic basket. Tandem mouse. Yep. I hate this Dondozo card. Bruh. I have so many of them. All right, now we're into the good stuff. You'll see in a second why this is uh, an exciting tin. Up the front, we got this Hisuian Samurai V. A nice looking card. Nothing too spectacular, but I don't have it. Got that code. Okay, um, I actually have been misled. You can, or could, get Evolving Skies in this tin. And there's nothing in here. Maybe I got unlucky. I'll have to do some homework because if this is the regular haul, go for the Crown Zenith tin. But we'll, we'll still, we'll still rip. See if we can get something. Sweet Honey, Cricketune, Quillfish, Rowlet, Quillfish again, Oshawa, Shaman, and Cleavor on the end. Astro Radiance is another set that is, has not been, okay, well, that freaking sucks, yeah. <laughs> What are the chances? Anyway, Magnazone Loki, kind of a cool card, but not spectacular. Brilliant Stars, haven't opened much of it, but is like a slightly less awesome, not my fault, a slightly less awesome Crown Zenith in my opinion. Like it's still got a good pull rate, but the cards just aren't as cool. Grimer, grabbing for your nuts. And Sneasel, Bidoof, Clang into a hollow Garchomp. And Fusion Strike, I will never stop hating on. I don't know why I'm opening this pack last. Is there anything even good in this set? I don't think so. Fat Pikachu, oh, that's, see, that's the problem. That's the problem with me. Wait, no, 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 Fat Pikachu's from Vivid Voltage. Oh, I guess Mew, yeah, there's like a Mew card in here that's cool, or can be cool, perhaps. Farewell, Bell into Galarian Cursula. So yeah, I got played by this 10 guys. I, I guess I was mistaken. Alrighty, we're gonna get into our Dark Phantasmas. Alrighty, we're gonna get into our Dark Phantasmas. Don't, wow, I'm, I, I should not be trusted with a knife. We're getting kind of low on Dark Phantasmas. I think maybe four or three more episodes we'll have Dark Phantasmas and then then they'll be gone and I'll move on to something else. Probably Lost Origin will be the end of the video pack. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Radiant Gardevoir, that is sick. Okay, I know I'm a sucker for Radiant cards. They don't have as much value as I wish they would, but Gardevoir is kind of a fan favorite for them sussy boys out there. Maybe, maybe they care about this one. It's just crazy to me that I bought 40 of these packs. Um, and I've almost opened all of them, and I'm still finding new cards. Like, the set's not huge. It's, it's not. But, like, the commons I've seen 
It's just so much. <laughs> Crobat, like there's not an episode I don't get him. Let's go. As far as Crobat moment, I actually do not have a Crobat for today. The, the journey will keep continuing. I have like five that I ordered from TCG player that should be coming sooner rather than later. But you know how it goes. Honk Crow, Gumi into Magnazone V. Another one I don't have yet, so I'm not gonna complain. Gonna flash up the value of today's video. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit more what to buy. I'll have the info on whether Divergent Powers is actually worth it or not, cause I thought it was. Anyway, I love your guys' support. Keep sending me ideas. I'm looking for them, I'm new, but um, I'm having a great time. So see you in the next.